consequences. New Mexico weighing 302 pounds. Cactus Jack. What, what, what are you saying? You know what, Shabani? What? Here's your next University of Michigan graduate right here. 218 pounds. Dan Gerza. I mean, if Steiner can get a degree from Michigan, so can Cactus Jack. I don't think Cactus Jack is looking for any degree. He deals in pain and hurting people, and he is going after Dan Garza using that 300-pound frame. He loves to hurt. You know, you could call him a hitman or a mercenary or a bounty hunter or whatever. This man certainly is very effective in the sport. You know what else is unique about Cactus? One of his standard things in the ring is to take so much punishment from his opponent that the opponent tires out having him Oh, yeah, he's all there, ain't he, Shabani? You know, he's kind of changed his noises. He used to squeal like a pig, and now he's shouting. Just runs right through Garza. Who knows what goes through the mind, if anything, of Cactus Jack. In fact, Cactus Jack could probably graduate with honors from Michigan. I hope Rick Steiner's listening. There's a leg drop, and Cactus Jack's going to cover him. Oh, and he picked him up. You know, we saw that last week with Big Van Vader. The yeah. same type of thing. It had no place then, it has no place now. I agree. I agree with that. If you got a chance to win, you take the win. An elbow. Now look. He's biting the guy in the forehead. And he enjoys it. Look at him. Oh, my. How WCW can look at this guy and say, yes. We'll book him. We'll put him in this arena. He's a crazy man. He's a crazy man, He's but he hurt wins. Somebody. He wins. Well, I've told you before, Shivani, that's part of this business. you got to understand, every time you go in the ring, you risk getting hurt, and you risk your career ending. Pick up. Vertical suplex. And once again, he picks up Garza. Picked him up again and again. I'll reiterate it. That's a mistake. I've seen it happen in all my years in wrestling. I've seen guys do that, and they end up losing the match. You know, interesting enough, Jesse, people boo this guy. You can hear the boos here. But most people just just stare at him as if to not what to be able to make of Cactus Jack. And now he's going out where he likes it the best, out on the floor. Yeah, that's where he rules. You Cactus know, he'd Jack. prefer not having a ring. He'd rather just have him lay the mats out on the floor and put the railings around. What's he going to do now? A backbreaker. And that is right on the floor outside of the protective mats on the outside. Garza is hurting and Cactus Jack. Well, is he? He's on the apron. Oh, uh oh. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Many times we've seen it, and once again, he risked his own life, his own health, by these type of maneuvers. He can hurt himself as well, but he doesn't care. He just plain don't care, Shivani. You're right on that. You agree with me? I agree with you. Hey, you're a competent announcer, sometimes. And now his move, it's kind of in the form of a DDT, and that is this. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Cactus Jack. It's one of those matches that was over from the word go. And look, and now the referee has to really talk him out of doing anything else. He's a nut.